Let's jump into Adidas, uh, which uh, appears to be very hot at the moment. It's a German multinational corporation that designs and manufactures sports shoes, clothing and accessories. And it's based in Bavaria, Germany. Yes. Right. So it's in fact based in a small town which almost completely dominates close to Nuremberg in the sort of central southern region, Bavaria. That's correct. And it had been in a massive slump. But we'll see in a minute it's having a real resurgence of fortunes. Market cap here, 30.8 billion euros. It's got a PE ratio of 31 and a dividend yield of just over 1%. You like Adidas? Well, I d we did like it. So about 2014, we did quite a so sort of comparative analysis between, at that stage, specifically Nike and Adidas. And at that stage, Adidas was actually um, not a favorite with analysts. They had had a bit of trouble in the golfing um, in the golfing apartments and they had spent a lot of money to sort of build the brand and when that earnings came out it was much lower than people had anticipated because of all that spending for marketing so then came the world cup in 2014 it got a lot of traction because they were obviously the supplier of balls there and and many other things and people started liking adidas again and sort of from that point it just went up and it's now over 100% return from that phase. At that stage, Nike on the other hand was quite expensive and even though that it was probably our preferred pick in terms of quality in terms of the two companies, it was more expensive than Adidas and we decided to buy Adidas at that stage. So you've timed this trade well, perfectly. It's just, it's Pretty much, we were just very lucky to do that. Um, it, it went down on, on valuation, which is always a key factor when you're investing. And then obviously both these companies we thought offered upside. Probably Adidas at that time, the market didn't really expect. So now we've switched the investment to Nike because we still think mm -hmm. Nike is the superior brand. Me as being modest, <laughs> it was a well-timed trade. You. Yeah, and I remember a show where we went through these stocks and we agreed that Adidas was hot. Let's mm. look at the share chart. So this is probably the, uh, yes it is, it's the Frankfurt listed ADS, so it's priced in euros. And you can see exactly that. It was in a world of trouble in 2014. They'd invested also in Russia in a big yes. way just prior to Russia's economic collapse because of oil prices and the Crimean invasion. And they just couldn't really put anything together. TaylorMade was in huge trouble. That's the golfing yes. brand. Plus, they hadn't done any new technical innovation on the running shoes, but they kind of fixed all of that stuff. New CEO, an ex uh, Henkel man. And this is a good uh, value play if you had bought at uh, the lower levels. Absolutely, but now sort of it looks a little bit full with that PE um, of 31. Yes, I'd much prefer getting into Nike now than into Adidas. Look, the fact is, here's a pair of um, <laughs> Adidas running shoes. That is a tremendous and very You're going to have to hold it up, camera. Oh, there we go. Running you know, shoes. No, not shorts. running shoes. Shorts. <laughs> How did I say that? I mean, that, that the three-stripe brand is so visible and so mm. uh, strong and so easily protected and so universal. Their sponsorship of the football teams is not to be underestimated, too, and that's more than national squads. Remember... Germany, of course, Spain, Argentina, some of the major global players have had those long-running sponsorship yes. deals which sells many, many millions of shirts at each and every global event. Hot or not, given the current valuation? So I think if you own Adidas, don't let it go. It's still a hot company and it just showed us now what it could actually do right. So it probably still has legs to go further. Or hot or not? I'm happy to say it's hot too. I think the whole category has been given a bit yes. of a kind of a, a, a pass in recent weeks and I think it's great. And remember Adidas, we haven't even talked about doing lots of stuff with those Stan Smith tackies yes. that people are wearing. Yeah. They've got a, a range of casual wear which they do with Kanye West. Stella McCarthy. All this kind of stuff. So they're really going strong into the that side of things. Two very stylish runners <laughs> on this side of the table. So definitely hot for yeah. even at this elevated level. Now